a quick take on everything I'm seeing with the short-term rental market in Colorado specifically. Most of my videos have been coming from Roatan, Honduras. That seems to get a lot of attention, but I live in Colorado part of the year also, and I'm in Steamboat Springs this week, and I've seen so many different uh, small towns, regulations, just kind of destroy Airbnbs the past month. I've even seen it in Boulder County, Colorado, where I have two neighbors, sorry, there's snow and I'm trying not to fall into the river, is I've seen so many Airbnbs just struck down recently in Superior, town of Superior in Boulder County, Colorado. They just banned them straight up. And well, now there's a lot of long-term rentals on the market. There are seven that I believe that were just shut down in a very small space. And I feel like that's gonna be the trend coming soon or we're gonna see that more and more. So please be very careful if you are considering buying an investment property, if you are basing your investment off short-term rental rates, I'd be very, very careful because that can lead to a world of pain. I know a lot of my neighbors, I never wanna see my neighbors in pain and they are forced to sell because they can't make the numbers work on a long-term uh, schedule, which, you know, it's very, I think it's very, very risky and I would never buy based on a short-term rate or high season. And I know that's the numbers that everyone throws out. I see it with real estate brokers all the time in Colorado where it's just, it's just very, very unfortunate that when they provide rental numbers to things, and I see them all the time, especially in mountain towns like this, where they're showing the rental schedule, they're ignoring the fact that city council's about to ban Airbnbs. I see that in Breckenridge a lot. And I'm just, I'm very concerned about people buying Airbnbs or they're being told to buy Airbnbs because on a lot of these smaller towns, they are going to be banned and not allowed anymore. So if you buy based off those numbers, it can create a very bad situation, especially if you have to long-term rent it, even if you are allowed to do long-term rental or you will be facing the possibility of being underwater or negative cash flow, which nobody nobody ever wants. So please make sure before you buy a, a condo or any place that you are going to Airbnb it or short-term rental it, make sure you're watching the city council, you're paying attention to the rules that are coming down the pipeline, and just know the general feel if they're anti-Airbnb, the residents will make them illegal or they are being very successful with their, with, with their banning these things in all the towns that I've been in in Colorado. So I never buy anything for short-term rental. I do everything for long-term or for my personal residence that I then rent out.